welcome to another House Wisdom Lightest and Best video. Oftentimes we do knife videos. This is going to be a hiking gear video. And we have a product from Cent Simple Outdoor Solutions called the Escape Pouch Version 2. And I believe this to be one of the lightest and best options for cook systems. Simple Outdoor Solutions is a hiking gear company located in Flagstaff, Arizona. They have around a dozen different specialty backpacking products like stuff sacks and carrying straps for water bottles and bear canisters. They also make food cozies, which is what we're looking at here. The first one they made was called the Escape Pouch. It was flat, and this one is gusseted. You see, you can stand it up. But the first one was flat, and you would just lay it down, and it was called the Escape Pouch. And then they came with the version 2 of the Escape Pouch, which has the gusseted bottom, so it's freestanding. And uh, it is a nice improvement. The cost of the product, whether you get a small one or a large one, is $31. Shipping is free, and it's well worth that price, I believe, because of the functions it offers. The size of the small, which is what we're reviewing today, is 7 inches wide by 7.5 inches tall. Um, it's designed to take a quart Ziploc bag or a Mountain House Pro Pack. And I have a couple of Ziploc bags here that I'm going to show you. Uh, Ziploc is a trade brand name. This is the Ziploc bag, and this is a Ziploc bag made by the house brand of Walmart, which is great value. As you can tell, the different sizes. The Ziploc bag is a little more narrow and taller, and the house brand from Walmart is wider and, and shorter. I just want to say that for this one, you really need to go with the brand name shape, the Ziploc bag, because it's designed to fit perfectly in here, and it does, as we'll see whenever we do a kicking vote, it's just the right width, and it's perfectly made for that. We'll talk about the construction. The body is made of an insulating product called Reflectix. It has the Velcro hook and loop material, both on the back and the front. On the front, of course, you fold it over whenever you put your food in there in the Ziploc bag, and it seals it for a nice, tight, insulated seal. And then, whenever you're done, you can open it up like this. And because there's also a Velcro hook and loop on the back, you can use it as a handle to hold your food. It's like a cup, and uh, it's got a nice little handle there. You don't burn your hand, and, and you can use it as a, as a cup, in a, in a sense. The piping material on the front is from nylon and provides a finished edge. Let's take a look at how you cook with this product. The instructions on the Knorr pasta side say to use one and a half cup of water and one half cup of milk, and then a, half, a tablespoon of margarine or butter. I'm going to pretend like we're hiking and I'm not going to have access to butter or milk so it takes two cups of fluid basically and since we're not boiling it for the 10 minutes after we bring it to a boil and cook it, I, instead of using two cups of fluid I'm only use one and three quarters cups of fluid. Now that we have boiling water, we're going to pour that goodness into the bag. I'm going to close it. Okay, here we are. We've uh, allowed the uh, North Sides pasta to steep a bit into the escape pouch and we're going to see how it did. Stir it up a little. And we will see if we have soft noodles or crunchy noodles. And that is a soft noodle. It is well cooked. I reduced the recipe by about a quarter cup 
and you could probably even reduce it to a half cup because I have plenty of sauce, plenty of fluid in there, so the system works well. Okay, we're back. I wanted to talk a little bit about cooking with the Escape Palace to version 2. Because you're not boiling the water, you can use a little water, less water than the recipe requires. For example, cooking a Northside's pasta, it calls for two cups of water. So I cut back on a fourth. You could use a fourth to a half less. Because you're not boiling it as long, you're steeping it, you don't have the same evaporative loss. The other thing I wanted to talk about is the weight. I was concerned that, okay, you're cooking something in a Ziploc bag, the residue that's left in the bag, will that be something that's heavy for you? And I weighed it out. I just turned it in the sink upside down and shook out the bag, and then I weighed it. It was 0.2 ounces. And then I weighed the Norfoil pouch, which is also 0.2 ounces, so the weight is equivalent. There's no weight gain by using the system in your trash. And then I talked. I want to talk about the Ziploc bags. I didn't know if you would need the Ziploc heavier bag called the freezer bag or the regular quart size bag would do. So I used the regular quart size bag and I didn't have any leakage whatsoever. So that's a good thing. The, the regular bags are lighter. Let me talk about the advantages to the escape pouch. First of all, it's light. It only weighs 1.1 ounces for the small and 1.4 ounces for the large. It's freestanding, at least the version 2, because it has this gusseted bottom, unlike the first version. The advantage to this is that with the first version, if you have to lay it on the side, the Ziploc bag is laying on the side. If you don't perfectly have this sealed, your food's going to spill out and cause a mess everywhere. Because it's standing upright, there's no pressure on the seal, and so even if you don't have it completely closed, you're not going to have leakage because there's no pressure on it. And I want to talk about the Velcro front. It's nice, it makes a good seal, and so you don't have to tie it or anything like that. It just stays naturally closed. And also they put Velcro on the back, and that's good because it allows you to use it as a cup. You just put your fingers in there, and it keeps your hand from getting burnt, and you can just eat right out of the container. Another one of the advantages is that there's no cleanup of pots. Whenever you're finished with your, Vel uh, your Ziploc bag, you just shake it out, put it in your trash, and you carry it off. You don't have to haul water up and clean your pots. And that's the next point I want to bring up. It conserves water. If you're in a place where water is scarce, like in the desert, and that's not such a big issue in the uh, Appalachian Trail, but if you're hiking the Continental Divide Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail, you have several weeks that you have to hike through the desert where there's very little water. You want to conserve your water, and this product will help you do it. You use less water to cook with because you're not having evaporative loss, and you don't have to use the water to clean up your cookware afterwards. And then the next point, it saves fuel. Note that uh, the north side instructs you to bring the water to a boil and then reduce the heat and boil gently for 10 minutes. Well, you don't have to boil gently for 10 minutes. You just pour the boiling water in, zip it up, put the flap over it, and then sit it, and then you come back in about 20 minutes and your noodles are cooked. In summary, I like the product. The Simple Outdoor Solution Escape Pouch Version 2 allows you to have a lighter cook system. You don't have to wash dishes. It conserves fuel. It conserves water. It also conserves your labor. I'm a big advocate of the product. Well, let me know in the comments section what you think of the Simple Outdoor Solutions Escape Pouch Version 2, and we'll see you on the next House of Wisdom gear review video. Mm -hmm.